Hey YouTube, this is APFAQ Tech right here with my first video about the detail, the breakdown of all the parts that come within the Xbox 360 Elite. Um, yeah, just because I'm taking it doesn't mean I just bought it. Uh, I actually got the Xbox 360 Elite on release date, so April 29, 2007, so there you go. Here you go, this is the main console right here. Uh, yeah, as you can see, black finish, everything else. 120 gig hard drive. Um, this is a breakdown of the hard drive. Uh, six times the capacity of the regular premium drive. Uh, 120, obviously. Uh, the connections to the hard drive, I researched it online. The SATA connection, Serial ATA, which provides um, faster data transfer through the hard drive to the 360. And yeah, that's about it for the hard drive. Just attaches over there. And if you look on the back side of the 360, um, you got one USB port right over there. Then you got the Ethernet port. Um, you get the multi-AV uh, multi input port and HDMI port. Um, yeah, the multi-AV uh, AV port right here. It can provide um, standard definition uh, audio and video as long as it's high definition audio and video. Uh, let me just get the cable over here. This right here is your cable, which you use for getting the high definition. As you can see here, it's actually split end cable. So basically, it has the compo composite inputs over here and component inputs over here. So, well, obviously, if you're going to use the component, uh, you got to use the audio connectors for the composite. And this right here is a connector input. It just attaches right here in the 360 and yeah so and on the side over here if you can see there's a little switch it says TV and HD TV well the TV side is used for it can be used for the composite or component if your TV does not support HD TV so if you're going to use a HD TV the switch flip the switch and you get 720p or 1080p now this is basically the through the comp uh, component cables right here, uh, many people have been asking what kind of re video resolution you get with these. Well, if you get standard definition resolution through these, if you only have just basically component inputs in your TV but doesn't support HD TV, if you have a HD TV, it could support 480p, which is progressive scan, 480i, which is interlace, 4D interlace, 720p, 1080i and 1080p upscaled basically it doesn't provide full 1080p but it can provide close to 1080p if you want 1080p you'll need something like this which is the xbox 360 hdmi cable it provides audio and video through a single cable right here hd tv and hdmi port as i pointed out is right here the only bad thing about this, it doesn't support Dolby True HD, which is part of the HDMI 1.3 specifications. Unfortunately, the Xbox 360 Elite only has 1.2 HDMI specifications, which only supports Dolby Digital Surround Sound. So, that's, that's basically it uh, for the HDMI. Now, just one note also, the PS3, however, can support HDMI 1.3. So that is one advantage for having the PS3. And oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to uh, add on for the multi-AV connector right here. Um, you also have a fiber optic port for fiber optic audio connected to any audio stereo you have in your uh, surround sound system. Note that this also does not provide Dolby True HD audio, only surround sound. Now this is what some people might use for HDMI. Suppose your TV doesn't support, I mean your HDMI on the TV doesn't support audio, which is probably the earlier versions of HDMI. You can use this along with HDMI to get the audio from the standard RCA jacks right here and also the fiber optic port right here. Over here, you also have your standard power port over there, which connects up to this really, not really heavy, it's just heavy power brick. Uh, note, just because the power grip is power brick is big, 
it's not not included into the 360 so which makes the 360 look slightly smaller than the PS3 now if you look at the PS3 in comparison to the 360 it weighs a little bit more and is also a little bit thicker because this is included in the PS3 so and this is just your standard power cable which attaches to the power brick into your wall outlet um, also which comes in the Xbox 360 box, you got your headset right here. These things break very easily for 20 bucks, but this came with that set. Got your mute button and mute slider over here to microphone audio rocker right here. Uh, here's a controller. Now this is in comparison to the original Xbox controller, this is not that bad. Um, pretty ergonomic, um, feels light. Uh, Right here you got the input for the playing charge kit, also used for uh, if you want to send the signal through 360. Uh, here's an example of the playing charge kit wire, which the USB, which goes into, as I forgot, uh, the front port, front USB ports of the 360 Elite. And this right here just plugs in through there. And this is the battery pack, which actually came with the playing charge kit. Uh, I actually checked the specifications on this. It provides 1.8 amps of electricity, also technically 1800 amps of battery power from this. It's nickel MH battery pack, so it's actually rechargeable, well obviously. Uh, they actually said using the energizer batteries, they actually have 2.5 amps or 2500 amps of uh, current from the, the those batteries and those actually last longer than this battery pack so you might want to check this out check those out instead of buying this and yeah, that's about it for this part um, well the drive in terms of changes to the Xbox 360 Elite apart from the black finish HDMI output and the 120 gig hard drive there hasn't been any motherboard major motherboard revisions to the 360 the drive also still makes a loud noise, but so far I haven't had any scratching whatsoever, having owned this for about five months. Um, here's one accessory I did not, per did not that did not come with the Xbox 360 Elite, but you have to purchase separately. Xbox Live Vision camera right here, it's white, it's not black. So um, this comes in pretty handy with uh, playing some games like Uno, whatever. Um, this can also be used on your PC since it has a USB port right here, which is very convenient. Uh, Microsoft did that. Um, yeah, that's about it for uh, all the 360 parts. We. Uh, oh yeah, one other thing: the processor for the Xbox 360 Elite is still using the same exact processor for the white one, the white version for. Uh, so basically, it's using a 90 nanometer process for the processor. Instead of using the 65 nanometer, the only difference is that the 65 nanometer is slightly faster and produces less heat. So this this baby right here won't even overheat. Um, they have released new pro versions of the 360 with, uh, with HDMI ports now. They've been I think manufactured July 1st, and they're now in circulation through all the stores. So if you're if you recently bought an Xbox 360. I mean the regular one, not the Elite, and it didn't come with HDMI ports. You should think about maybe returning it and getting the newer version, which has an HDMI port and uses a 65 nanometer cooling process. Um, this is about it for 360 Elite. So, APFAQ Tech right here. See you later.